Every partnership needs balance. When both sides work well together, everyone benefits. This is true even when it comes to the relationship between your network and your internet service provider, ISP. When you first chose your internet plan, everything worked seamlessly. But for some reason, your internet is slow now. Maybe it's been slow for a while. The problem could be with your ISP, something within your network, or possibly both. Time to figure it out, starting with a speed test. A speed test is a helpful tool that checks network download and upload internet connection speeds. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain speed tests and how to take one next. To get the most accurate speed test, it's recommended that you eliminate some outside variables that could affect the results. Be sure to close all tabs and applications, including any running in the background, like cloud sync, updates, or online virus scans. Disconnect any other devices connected to the network. Use a wired connection instead of Wi-Fi if possible. Reboot your modem and router and update your web browser to the latest version available. You should run multiple tests for a comprehensive view and keep in mind that in general, during peak usage times, the speed may be slower. When you're ready, select a speed test. There are several online options available. Once you access the site, you may receive a cookie notification. You can reject this. You may also have the option to switch servers or change connections from multi to single, but generally the default settings should work just fine. The speed test automatically finds the most suitable server based on your IP address. The test begins with a measurement of your download speed, how rapidly your internet connection can retrieve data from the internet to your device. When you're streaming a movie, listening to music, loading a web page, or downloading a file, you're relying on download speed. The higher the number, the faster the downloading process. It typically takes a few seconds. Next, the tool calculates your upload speed, the speed at which your internet connection can send data from your device to the internet. This comes into play when you're doing things like sending emails with large attachments, uploading files to a server, posting media to a website, or video conferencing. Similarly, the higher the number, the faster the upload. Both are measured in megabits per second. Once complete, you'll receive a simple statistical report about your upload and download speeds. That's all there is to it. You've taken your first speed test. Take some time and perform a few more. When you're ready, click the link in the description for part two, where we move forward with the results. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.